Twitter. No one told me about this part of life, where anxiety becomes breakfast and trauma is your pillow. Um, Kate? I'm so mentally exhausted. I can hardly pay attention in class or hold a regular conversation for more than five seconds. Right this way. I know I'm not supposed to feel like this. Like my emotions are just fairy tales. Hi, Kate, is it? That's a cool name. Where are you from? I lost all my care to speak because the responses are all the same. It's okay. I completely understand. From the file that my sister showed me, I, I have to apologize first. I, I really am sorry to hear that. We have great therapists here who would love to help you. My heart aches for you. I, I know what it feels like to not feel heard. You know what? I think I may have a colleague here that can relate to you a lot more than I can. I, I truly wish you the best. It makes no sense in this world that we live in. The people who cry the hardest at your funeral laugh the loudest when you try to express your mentally fragile. I don't understand how you can cry for help and then be called dramatic. I'm tempted to drown my sorrows in a bottle, but I know what awaits for me down that road. So, according to the file the receptionist sent to me, you're going through it right now. And I am so sorry to hear that. When I was in college, I was throwing back beers and didn't have a care in the world. You know what? You kind of look like a wine guy to me. You like wine? I don't drink to get drunk or take the edge off since I'm already sitting there. Drugs either, but I swore I'd never touch it after what had happened. This is Ashley from Marlboro News, and tonight I am here near PG County, Maryland, and today we got word that a young man, only 18 years of age, has overdosed on what it seems like to be pills. His body was found on the side of the road down 27 and Largo Road. Alright, we're done here? I'm tired of watching people perish from their lack of knowledge and knowing the devil pokes in my brain just as much as he wants without anyone suspecting a thing. When I'm at my highest, that's what he usually attacks. When I'm at my lowest, he tries to kill. A genius at being a cancer to humanity. Dude, I am so sorry. I never grew up in a household like that. Is it hard to trust people for you? The enemy knows that our heart is deceitful above all things, and we don't understand it. The God of this world gives us what our heart desires to blind us from what we really need. <laughs> you sure you're not gonna find out? Who cares if he does? And what we don't need. Are the scars that are left behind. I unfortunately can't relate. I can refer you to another colleague of mine. He's super generous. At one point, I thought they were my only friends. Anger and depression. I only now realize the amount of verbal abuse I endured as a child was so severe. When I explain it to someone else, usually other black men understand. I don't have to explain what's completely understood. It's unfortunate that the possibility of my pain is normal but to someone else, it's unfathomable. Why don't people get that? You might not know exactly what someone else went through, but you still know they're going through something. But they don't treat you that way until you're gone. Kid, 
I really appreciate you coming in to talk to me. And I just want to say that I'm really honestly, genuinely sorry that you have to go through this. But in reality, did you think this was going to work? I mean, did you honestly think this was going to work? <laughs> that I was going to help you? Because there's no helping you. We all have a hard life. I mean, I'm still here. What makes your problems any different than mine? I mean, at this rate, come back to me when you grow up. Oh. Uh, like I said, my life was hard too. Tough love, Cade. It is what it is. So, goodbye. Goodbye depression, goodbye anger, I will no longer let Satan himself feed me lies about my worth. The devil may hit you hard in life, but my God hits harder. I, I appreciate you coming in today, uh, thank you for showing me this. Kate, you're not alone. We're gonna get you the help that you deserve. I can't put myself in your shoes, but your life still matters. I hope you know that. Father God, thank you for providing strength. Mentally, I'm completely checked out. I've lost a lot of brain power and even consciousness of reality. Even though I don't really feel like I matter on this earth, I know my worth in you, Lord. I'm emotionally unavailable right now, and I'm truly exhausted in general. But I praise your name. I praise your name, Lord, for waking me up this morning and to see another day and to use my creative gifts that you've given me to show the therapist visually what life looks like from my point of view. I know that it was promised that I would be persecuted and hated or disrespected by this world, but I'd much rather follow you than to be a friend of this world. I pray for and over my friends that may be feeling depressed, lost, or misunderstood like in the ways that I showed the therapist today in the video that I made. I know I didn't have the best relationship with my dad growing up, but I pray that you continue to lead my path in a way my heart can be conditioned to be.